webinar. I welcome you all for today's session. And uh, as we all know, we all have gathered here to grab the information regarding how to get admission in the top-notch international schools. What are the planning strategies and how you can make your child to uh, shine like a bright star. I welcome especially the two mentors of True Maths Academy who are having 15 plus years of experience and uh, they are the alumni of the world's best school and the colleges. So, First of all, I would like to welcome Mr. Siddharth Sudhar Singh, who is actually a Woodstock alumni. He is a graduate from IIT and IIM. And simultaneously, I would like to also welcome Mr. Deepa, who is the co-founder and CEO of the True Mass Preparatory School. My very first question to you, Siddharth sir, is, according to you, what all are the aspects to get the complete and elucidated details in order to get into any of the top-notch international schools. I would rather suggest for having a complete and detailed information. Just log into www.tomats.com. With coming on to the admission process, if I talk about, I would simply say about two wonderful schools here. Would likewise give you an example for Dune School. If, if you are interested for making your child to enter into Dune School, the simple way is to just log in onto the website, the official website of Dune School. And once you enter, there's an admission head uh, sort of bar which is available in the upper corner. You can simply click on that admission thing and you will find various options available to you. How it works, how to apply, what is the prospective details, what is the fee structure, the age criteria, every sort of information you get into a kind of a series. Um, I would like to ask Mr. Deepa Train, as you are the subject expertise, especially in the mathematics and so on. And the question to you is, sir, like what are the trends in sharpening the numerical ability in the mathematics and how to skill the aspirant for the quickest problem solving techniques in the entrance exam for, space, uh, for specifically for the international schools? So, the uh, normal school examinations and the uh, competitive examination hai, there are two very major issues that you have to ask both questions to me. The first jo part hai, normal school mein ki agar hum baat kare to agar hum koi final exams ko hum log agar consider karte hain so normally wahan pe aisa rehta hai ki final exams mein 30 ke around questions wo log puchhte hain aur iske liye wo around 2 and a half hours or 3 hours ke around ka time aapko diya jata hai right to solve the question paper exactly right. where is in uh, agar aap jab hum competition ki baat karte hain to time limit bilkul se ekdam se reduce kar di jati hai ji wohi wohi sabse bada hai bilkul Jaysay, for example, abhi hum log last year Doom School ki baat kare, to Doom School mein aapko 30 questions mele the, jisko aapko 45 minutes mein solve karne tha. Right. Mayo College ki hain, agar hum baat kare, to Mayo College mein bhi again 20 questions the, but isko solve karne ke liye aapko sirf 15 minutes ka time mela tha, jo pohat kam hai. Pohat kam. Right. So, abhi agar hum log baat kare, to ye jo time difference yahan pe create ho raha hai, to aap is gap ko fill kaise kare? Means, इसको कंपेंसेट कर सकते हैं तो इसमें सिर्फ कैलकुलेशन एक ऐसा पार्ट है जहां पे आप अपना बहुत सारा टाइम सेव कर सकते हैं राइट तो अगर आप अपनी न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी को बहुत इंप्रूव कर लेते हैं अगर आप कैलकुलेशन बहुत स्पीड अप कर लेते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली आप इस टाइम गैप को फिल कर पाएंगे अदरवाइज नहीं कर पाएंगे is there any specific tool or you can say the technique on which one can judge the difficulty level of the examination and if you think that, okay, if yes, then it will be what? And if no, then how? We can get out of it. And according to you, like, what is the toughest exam occurred during the recent past? And what are the consequences? So, what I simply say that uh, it, it happens many a times that, uh, you know, the difficulty or the toughness or the uh, kind of, um, uh, you know, complication matters a lot for all sort of students, basically. Because uh, they generally think that paper would be a kind of a, um, um, a, a kind of a mania for them, right? Which I don't ever think of. Like keeping the things very calm and serene is always the um, biggest solution for this problem what students encounter. If I talk about the difficulty level of the examination, I would simply say that uh, difficulty nowhere acts. You know, if you are well prepared, if you are 100% uh, sure, if you are 360 degree evaluated, I would rather never say that you know, answering the question paper or appearing for the exam or the paper set of people generally keep this thing into mind. Because if I talk about the evaluation criteria of these examinations, it's simply to check out the cognitive skills, that intelligence quotient, 
that level of thinking the decision making and especially to keep the time very intact because you know that this is a competition and competition is always uh, limited to the time Siddharth, I have something to ask you. This is Amit Shukla. My son is in class five, studying in Calcutta Heritage School. Do you think that two months' time, two to three months' time, would be good enough for a kid? If you're talking about oral development, personality development, and oral orientation, is for me. Yeah, I would. I would come to this answer of yours. Very well asked this question. I would simply say that that uh, it all depends upon the mindset of your child, right? If your child is a quick learner, then of course even one month is most appropriate. and it's very well but then if i talk about your child is actually a slow learner at that point of time we would rather give at least a three to two woman time to develop your child's mindset because you know as i say that um, uh, improvising on the communication skills improvising on the comprehending skills and the presentation skills it's really a daily routine so your child must have different dimensional uh, a multi dimensional approach to be inculcated into your child and that too he had to obey and uh, be dedicated into these affair for making him prepared So, uh, two months if I talk about come up with a very wonderful approach wherein we are taking the pre-planned session, in which uh, if your child is uh, belonging to the third, fourth, or fifth standard, he can appear for it. He can start be a kind of a person in which he can develop his and conceptualize him so pretty well that the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, the bone, the backbone, what we usually lay, is turning out to be so strong that once and then any part of questions is asked from him into the competition, he would answer them very well. So for that we started the pre batches and uh, in that we trained the student not on the syllabus but then flourishing and um, totally uh, you know uh, polishing the skill sets which are related to the basic math and basic english which is very important like having a great relationship in between the reading writing and comprehending skills and at the same time if i talk about the mathematics then uh, obviously the problem solving techniques and especially how to be logically sound in terms of the formula in terms of how to memorize the things in such a way that you can implement them and put it into action in a very well way right so this is how we are making it possible sir and yes of course if a child is a quick learner then 2 3 months is a wonderful effort